SFM Spiritual Meat. Perilous times have come. Romans 1 verses 26 through 32. For this reason, God, God Almighty, gave them up, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, to vile passions, despicable passions. For even their women exchanged the natural use, sex between a man and a woman, for what is against nature, sex between two women. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, sex between a man and a woman, burned in their lust for one another, sex between two men, men with men, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers the penalty of their error, the lake of fire, the second death, which was and is due. And even as they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, did not like to retain God, God Almighty, in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind, a desecrated mind, to do those things which are not fitting, not appropriate, being filled with all unrighteousness through Satan, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, God Almighty, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, knowing the righteous judgment of God, God Almighty, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, the lake of fire, the second death, not only do the same, but also approve of those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who practice them. 1 Timothy 4 verses 1 and 2 Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, expressly, clearly says that in latter times some false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers will depart from the faith, the gospel of Jesus Christ, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons through Satan, speaking lies in hypocrisy through Satan, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron by Satan. 1 Timothy 6 verses 3 to 5a. If anyone false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, teaches otherwise, and does not consent to wholesome words, the Holy Bible, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which accords with godliness, he, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, is proud knowing nothing, but is obsessed through Satan with disputes and arguments over words, from which come, through Satan, envy, strife, reviling, evil suspicions, useless wranglings of men of corrupt minds through Satan, and destitute of the truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 through 4. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times, 
terrifying times will come for men, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers will be, through Satan, lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, or conceited, lovers of pleasure through Satan, rather than lovers of God, God Almighty. 2 Timothy 4, verses 3 and 4. For the time will come when they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, will not endure sound doctrine, the Holy Bible, but according to their own desires, through Satan, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, false teachers, and they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, will turn their ears away from the truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and be turned aside through Satan to fables, false prophets, false teachers, and false doctrines. 2 Peter 2 verses 1 and 2 But there were also false prophets among the people, the children of Israel, even as there will be false teachers, false prophets, false teachers, and false doctrines among you, believers, who will secretly bring in destructive heresy through Satan, even denying the Lord Jesus Christ who bought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their destructive ways, because of whom the way of truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ, will be blasphemed. Second Peter 3, verses 3 and 4 Knowing this first, that scoffers, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts through Satan, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, died a physical death, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Galatians 1 verses 7b through 9 But there are some false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who trouble you, believers, and want to pervert, misrepresent the gospel of Christ. But even if we, believers, or an angel from heaven, false angels, fallen angels, preach any other gospel, false doctrines, to you, believers, than what we, believers, have preached to you, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let him, fallen angels, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, be accursed in the lake of fire the second death. As we, believers, have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel, false doctrines to you, believers, than what you have received through the Holy Spirit, let him fallen angels, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers be accursed in the lake of fire, the second death, everlasting condemnation. 
suddenly we believers we pre-tribulation living believers will be no more for Jesus Christ has truly taken us. Amen.